What is going on YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Random. And in today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys why you absolutely need to have one of these if you own a Crown Victoria. Now, what you guys are looking at right here is an OBD2 gauge. As you guys can see, this entire kit right here, it comes in this white box. This kit right here brings everything you need to install your OBD2 gauge as you guys are about to see. And speaking of installation, actually installing these is incredibly, incredibly simple. We're gonna grab the base of it. There's a smooth part to this little base. And if you flip it around, there's ones with little holes on them. What we wanna do is these little tabs right here, you're gonna wanna flick them up like that. And now it's gonna kind of look something like that. We're gonna tab them up. You want the tabs poking up on the smooth part, not on the little uh, circle parts. After that, we grab our OBD2 gauge right here. And you see those two little slots, you're just gonna connect it right to the base. Then you'll notice your kit actually brings this uh, little screw piece right here. It's gonna go directly in the hole where your gauge is on the base. Once your base has been secured, we're gonna, we're gonna grab the 3M backing that it comes with, and that's what we're gonna use to actually mount it inside our Crown Vic. Next step is to find a mounting location where you wanna place your gauge. Now I'm specifically going, it's gonna be somewhere around here. It's still within the line of sight. And the best part is I get to wire the cable that connects from the back of the gauge to the OBD2. I get to wire that through all the back right here, bring it around and connect it directly to my OBD2 port. So I got my mounting spot. We come here, undo the backing of a 3M tape and boom, paste it. So after that, we take the connector that goes behind the gauge plug it into the back of the gauge and your OBD2 connector, plug it in. And then after that, all you gotta do is just turn the car on. Like I said, guys, the OBD2 uh, gauge won't connect unless you have your car in the running position or unless you have it fully turned on, which is what I'm about to do. Now, as you guys can see, the OBD2 gauge is finally connected. Sorry, my stupid airbag light won't shut the hell up airbags who needs them right anyways i ran the cable through the back and it's plugged in to the obd2 port right there yeah i'm gonna clean this up i'm actually gonna zip tie this and get rid of all this hanging stuff it's only like this because i'm doing the video guys so relax give me a break Cut me some slack one thing you guys need to keep in mind with this gauge is that it does not auto turn off when your car is off meaning when you turn your car off actually you know what i might as well just show you guys here we go car is off gauge stays on this thing just won't shut up guys this LTC OBD2 port gauge is freaking amazing especially if you own a 98 to 2005 Crown Vic this thing has as you guys saw it has a built-in tachometer something that the older model Crown Vics don't have. Obviously, this is an 06, so I don't need that. But the features this thing comes with will benefit anybody. From 98 to 2011, you own a Crown Victoria. You cannot pass up on this thing. Your speedometer doesn't work. It tells you how fast you're going. Has a watch, the RPM gauge, the tachometer. Technically, it's a gauge, so yeah. You can time yourself. You can do zero to 60. You can do lap times. As you guys can see, there you go. There's a little bit more of that for you. It has coolant information. Hell, it even has a coolant alarm. You can set an alarm in this thing, and if your car gets hot enough, this little bastard will start going off, letting you know there's something terribly wrong. Something is overheating beyond the temperature that you set it for. It also has a built-in voltmeter, which some of us do not have. As you guys can see, all we have is the car's temperature and how full your tank is. You can also set an alarm, just like with a coolant temperature, letting you know when your battery drops below a certain voltage, it'll let you know, hey, your battery's about to die. It has fuel trim, it has inlet air temperatures. Guys, the list goes on and on. My lunch break's about to end, I can't go on forever with this. But believe it or not, the hundreds of features that that little gauge has isn't the best part about it. No, 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 that's because the best feature about that gauge is that it only costs $35. Yes, you get all of that for $35, guys. Free shipping. 
Anyways, my lunch break is almost over, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video. I've had the gauge for a while. It works freaking awesome. If you're a Kronvik owner, do yourself the favor, guys. Get the gauge. Link, description down below. Man, I can go on about this gauge. It has shift points. You can set a speed alarm if you're going too fast. Hundreds of features, guys. $35. Don't pass it up. Either way, it's your boy, Mr. Random. I'll catch you guys on my next lunch break for another Crown Victoria video. Take it easy, guys. You ever wanted a digital speedometer on your old ass Crown Vic? Well, there you have it. Live and in color. Digital speedometer. Love this gauge. Get this gauge.